This is Neen Williams, and we're making guac today. So these are my ingredients. I have about a handful of cilantro, thick stems removed. Got a jalapeno, just a little small jalapeno. About a quarter onion, aroma tomato, and a reeds avocado. These things are the best for guac. They come out really creamy and nice. That's reeds avocado. We got this right here. This is my sea salt. This sea salt is infused with jalapenos, Caribbean peppers, scorpion peppers, salt, and lime. This stuff is really essential for your guac. Most importantly, we have the lime. This will flavor your guac really nicely. All right, let's start the chopping. Get your cilantro. Bunch that up like so and just chop that up see that that's perfect dump your cilantro in there chop up your onion nice and small put your onion throw that in there slice up your tomato nice and small if you like chunky tomato, go for a chunky tomato. I like to try the jalapeno before um, we put it inside of our guac, just to know what we're working with. Whew, that's a spicy one. We're not gonna put too much. Beautiful. In the bowl, she goes. Time for our main attraction, the Reed's Avocado. Beautiful. Get rid of that. I like to score the avocado. It helps it uh, come out of the casing better. It helps it break up easier. So just score it real nicely. Slice this way, and then slice the other way, just like so, nice and carefully. Now you have a nice scored avocado. This will mush real easily. All right. Now we just plop these bad girls in our bowl of deliciousness there. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna start off with half a lime first. Don't wanna hit it too hard. Squeeze all the delicious juice in there. Mm-hmm. That looks about right. We have about a teaspoon of kosher salt. This salt's really good because it just kinda absorbs in to your guac instead of like crunchy blocks or little rocks of salt you know you get something that absorbs in and just flavors it really nicely and now we have our beautiful guac now the fun part mash it all down mix it all together finishing touches a little bit of my salt to death there we go. Mix that in. Boom. And there you have it. Freshly made guac with a Reed's avocado. Now you just want to taste it. Nice and mellow. Gives you a little kick. A little hint of lime. It's delicious. Try it out. And thanks for watching. Last little tip. One of the best way to store your guac is get some cellophane. What you wanna do is you wanna push it all the way down onto the guac. You see that? So that means there's no air touching the guac and it'll stay fresh and good and not brown out. 